Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. How are we doing? I hope you guys are doing good. It has been a long time since I like sat down and filmed. I feel like I've vlogged a little bit lately, but sitting down and chatting, it's been a while and I really, really miss it. So I hope you're good. Today's video, I'm gonna kind of chat to you all about wedding dress shopping, the experience, how it was for me. I am gonna kind of make this a series and this is obviously in my wedding series here on YouTube. I feel like I've got some wedding updates for you guys. So I might go ahead and film that as a separate video about like venue we've picked and just making more decisions and honing in on those decisions stuff like stationery and like all those little bits but I'm posting very frequently over on my TikTok I'm pretty much doing a lot of wedding related content there lots of venues that we didn't choose over in Italy I've sort of posted over there so I'll put those videos on the screen but I'll leave them below as well so if you want to follow, follow me on TikTok that's where I feel like I'm posting the most wedding related content but for everyday fashion content and just general me content definitely check me out on Instagram as well but hi I hope you guys are really really good this video is going to be solely based on two bridal stores that I actually went and visited. I went and visited Suzanne Neville in London in Knightsbridge and I also visited another store called Pronovius again in London. Um, I think it's just, it's very near Bond Street. It's just off Bond Street. It's on New Bond Street. There we go. Those are the two stores that I did visit and I want to chat to you about my experiences, specific dresses I tried on, yeses, nos. I'm not going to show you some of the ones that I actually think might be my dress. I'm going to save those but let's just talk a little bit more in depth and about the experience and if you are a bride-to-be or you just like this kind of content, I kind of want to help you guys out. I feel like it's quite an overwhelming thing this whole wedding thing and there's so many parts and things to think about and you want to enjoy your try on experience when it comes to your dress so yeah let's get into it i am gonna have like a part two to this video coming very soon i'm off to the wedding club and also another store called halo and wren so i'll bring you guys along to both of those bridal visits and i'm sure we can talk about those two experiences as well because i want to give every single shop its own little moment so you can get my like full opinion of it okay if i'm looking at my phone it's because i'm kind of reminding myself of the day and i'll pop everything on the screen here i headed off to Suzanne Neville. I booked the appointment early in the morning. I could bring my mum and my sister. We were all offered a lovely glass of fizz, which we very welcomely took. Hey girls, I am dressed. This is what I've gone for. I really didn't know what to put on. It's this long, it's almost flattering here maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's dressed. Dress from Odd Muse. It's super cute. And then I've paired it with this like old mango little jacket that has like a little bit of a sleeve to it. I'm going to do my Loewe bag and I think I'm just going to do my flat ballet pumps and call it a day and go because I'm running late. But yeah, I just I was really confused what to do. Um, I've got to sort my dog out. Oh my God, there's so much. There's so much to do. And this appointment, I believe, cost me £60. I will leave the website below so you guys can check that information out for yourself. I think this appointment cost me £60. It was a fantastic appointment. I didn't feel rushed at all. I really liked the girl. I liked her energy. I liked how a lot of the dresses were quite small, but she never made me feel like they were too small on me. She definitely adjusted the corset so it looked and felt like it was fitting me correctly. She got exactly what I wanted and what shape I was after almost immediately and we just sort of honed in on that in particular this was my first bridal appointment and i think that's always an interesting one because it's the first time you're putting a dress on but i don't think there's anywhere else i would have rather gone apart from suzanne neville by the way if i'm talking funny i bit the side of my mouth like inside my cheek and it's really really sore so if i'm talking like that it's because i, I bit my cheek so yeah i had a fantastic experience here i'm not going to show you guys the first dress that i tried on because that is a strong contender it was beautiful but let's hop straight on in to the second dress that i did try on it was beautiful it had a lot of kind of like flowy fabric on the bottom and mesh across the top with these really pretty like detailed sleeves little flowers sparkly little details to it again it came in at the waist and just sort of flowed out for me it didn't have enough volume to the bottom half of this skirt but i did absolutely love this dress i thought it was really pretty and what's really nice about the mesh in suzanne neville i've got a picture of it here but i'll pop it on the screen it does not look like mesh i cannot stand that mesh fabric when it's so obvious that it's not your skin i don't know if you know what i mean but when it just looks like fake mesh this looked incredibly realistic the flowers all sort of placed over the shoulders and you can have a lot of fun with Suzanne Neville you can mix and match a lot of their tops and bottoms they can add more of like a petticoat style to the bottom of the skirt they can make it more structured there is a lot of versatility in the store so yeah this was a good one to try on I think it definitely told me that I didn't want something that's that kind of romantic softer skirt I want something with a bit more structure to the bottom but it was a beautiful dress nonetheless the next one I'm definitely not showing you because I keep looking back at it and I think it's going to be the one. So I'm definitely not going to show you that, but I'm going to show you the next one, which is the fourth dress that I tried on. This dress, I mean, look at the back of this dress, was a showstopper. It was absolutely stunning. It's exactly what I thought I was going to go for. And when I posted my Instagram video showing you the dresses that I said no to, so many people were like, why have you said no to that dress? And now it's made me second guess it and think, oh my God, should I have said yes to that dress? It is so stunning. It has all this little flower detail across the bottom of the skirt. It feels very feminine. It feels romantic. 
thick feels perfect for an Italian wedding because it does have a much thinner strap. So, you know, you're not going to be boiling hot. The only thing I didn't love about it was that strap detail. I found those spaghetti straps on this just a little bit too simple for me. But the back of this dress. The back of it was just stunning. The little applique details, the way the train is, the way it falls, the pleats in the back. It's so flattering, really nips you in in the waist. Like when I look at it and I look at how this falls on the back, it was so pretty. I really don't know if I made a bit of a mistake there and kind of ruling that one out. So I am still thinking about that dress. Okay, the fifth dress that I tried on. So I tried on quite a few in Suzanne Neville. They didn't make me feel like I needed to get out the door, that's for sure. This was stunning. I believe this is in their new collection. It is a strapless dress, comes in at the waist and floats out. It Kind of has like a lace style fabric but it's thinner very very white this dress and i'm i'm not sure if that very stark white is all that flattering on me that's probably one thing i'll say i mean i went with a little bit of a tan and i think that that helped me i think if i'd gone on on a day when i didn't have that i would have felt like the color white is quite stark but you know a lot of these brands they can change that color for you they can do an ivory they can do something more like a blush nude tone underneath so there's options there if you find that white to be a little bit harsh on your skin this dress pulled me in i mean i don't know if the videos are going to show it it may Made my waist feel so good i you know what guys i was shocked trying on wedding dresses i thought i was going to hate the experience i was going to feel really insecure even though a lot of these dresses were not in my size and they were much too small the experience was great i felt like i didn't feel crap coming out in the dresses and that was something i was very very worried about i don't know if that's down to the places that i went to or if it's just down to the style of dresses that suzanne neville does they suck you in and a girlfriend of mine who's re who's getting married this summer she has bought a suzanne neville dress and she was like georgia they pull you in they make your waist feel so good you just feel really confident and she's so true so i did love this dress i just felt like it was kind of lacking a little bit of something i know i want a little bit of something a bit different and for me it just felt like it was lacking but it's a stunning dress has a really big long train which was beautiful i mean look can you guys see the size of that train so pretty i wasn't a massive fan it has quite like a pointy section here where the top sort of points up i didn't love that detail but again i think these are probably things that you can play around with gosh they really let me have so much time time in Suzanne Neville it was just great so dress number six was something a little bit different it was a dress with sleeves which is something I was really curious about it had this mesh detail across the top with all these tiny little floral details to it and then the bodice had a few flowers on and then it just kind of came out into this very simple satin structured skirt with a big split up I don't think I'm going to be going for a split just personally I don't think I want that I think I'm going to maybe do a second dress and that can be my fun short dress but my classic wedding dress I don't think I want to split yeah I didn't love this I I, at the time I think I thought I did and upon looking back at pictures it just isn't for me I don't think the bottom half of that skirt sort of does anything for me it was yeah it wasn't for me then I did try on one more dress in Suzanne Neville which I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go for so I feel quite confident to show this one to you I did not show this one on my Instagram but looking back and going over the pictures I don't think I'm going to go for this one this was a stunning dress and it was almost like two styles of dress in one so I had the top which was like off the sleeve lovely little floral details and then I had a floral skirt which was so pretty but I just felt like this needed a bit more volume but that's when you can play around with Suzanne Neville they would have allowed me to add a little bit of volume and kind of a skirt into the underneath so there are things you can do what I loved about the appointment is there was nobody else in the room nobody else in the store besides me my mum my sister I felt like the service was was fantastic I had one main person sort of looking after me and then another girl sort of like shadowing her and pulling dresses and things there was a lot of free will to choose whatever I wanted but she also pulled a little bit of things for me which was helpful and overall just brilliant brilliant experience in there so absolutely absolutely loved that whole day. I did try on a veil with a couple of the dresses which was a really magical moment and it made it just feel very real so I definitely think if there's a dress that you're liking try on a veil because you'll get that full like bridal vibe when you do that and it was very special. Say hey to the vlog. Hey. hey. Try not to <laughs> say hey. Make it obvious. Whoa. I know that she trod on my foot. <laughs> so we've tried quite a few on. I feel like it was more successful than I thought it was yeah, going to be. Yeah. I thought definitely. it was going to be unsuccessful definitely. but it wasn't. Hello. Hi vlog. I feel like I haven't actually said hello because when I was walking from the station to Suzanne Neville. I just hear now like so many horror stories about having your phone out and your camera out. So I didn't want to walk down the street like with my camera. But yeah, it was quite successful. I don't know what I'm going to include. I think I'll include some of the ones that I know I'm probably not going to go for. But some of the ones I'm not sure about, I think I probably won't put in this video. Um, we're now off to Pranovius. Our appointment is in. Let's see, are we all right? Mm. All right, 
got like 15 minutes and that's in new bond street and i hear that pronovius now stocks like a lot of other designers so i'm kind of intrigued to see what that's about um and then i think there's a couple more that i might book just because i do want to try on a few just so i know i've like tried them on but yeah it was definitely better than i thought it was going to go i thought i would try them on and be like because i watch cassie here on youtube and she's done a video before she was like ah uh, it was a bit of a disaster so i thought oh was it going to be a disaster but it wasn't we just want to grab some lunch in harrods because we were next door to harrods and when i say we had him some flatbread for 20 quid we had him some flatbread for 20 quid like it was lovely hummus but it was a bit ridiculous do we not agree yeah. The hummus and flatbread for 20. Oh, absolutely. The amount we got. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was absolutely ridiculous. Like, it was quite dry, the flatbread. Uh, it, it was. was. It was crispy. I would have had flatbread for three quid from Tesco. Yeah. 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 It was that much oh, different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. I have three That's quid for nice. a whole tar. Yeah. 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 Ye
to look back on that. Yeah, and, and I also want to like and I want to good on camera. Yeah, and I also want to share it with people. So if they're looking for dresses, yeah. but it was successful, the girl was so sweet, and so I think I'm gonna go there for a second appointment. But everyone's been so nice. Like at Suzanne Neville, they were so nice as well. So yeah, successful day. We're gonna head to Selfridges and maybe have a bit of a mooch. I think. Yeah. So I think it's rush hour now, Bye. which is not ideal. So we are just in Harry's. We've come for a little bit of dinner. I've gone for a spicy margarita because my mum set the trend. Olivia bought a bag. Do you want to show everyone? Do an unboxing. She's quite unlikely. <gasps> oh, it's so it's cute. One, it? it was. Oh, look, it's so cute. It's got a little tan strap. Yeah, a longer strap. Yeah. But they have other colours. Um, you know what I love? The bottom. It's made so well. Yeah. Like the leather bit on the. I really like that. I don't know why. I think in the summer, like the day, it's really cute. And we just come here for a little bit of food. Bye. Bye.